in the churches throughout uh, the Dallas uh, community that I, I would actually be the one sweating trying to keep up with Donna and the participants in the, uh, in the movement. And it truly was a movement. And Donna and I got involved uh, because of that connection between uh, uh, wellness and health and, and your faith. And I realized as a uh, heart doctor that the more that I learned about the heart, the physical heart, the more I learned about the spiritual heart and how both of those are important jewels and they are jewels of the whole and they are interconnected and they are uh, woven together. You can't ask God to give you a clean heart and then go to Burger King and get a double Wow. The two have to be interconnected. I then serve to tell you how you interconnect the two. I serve on the board of the Association of Black Cardiology. And we had as our motto something very simple for us. It goes to your spirituality, it goes to Family. And the motto was, children should know their grandparents. Sounds, sounds very, uh, sounds very cheap, but it is very powerful. Because today, I've just been up here for the last minute, and two Americans in this country have died of heart disease. Every 36 seconds in this country, an American dies of heart disease. If you are a parent and you have an athlete in your family, high school athletes are at very high risk for sudden death. You're more likely to die if you're an athlete in high school rather than being someone who's steady, who's not an athlete in uh, high school. And the statistics are dominant, and they're dominant for us. Not only is it 30 every 37 seconds that Americans die from heart disease. What this disease, which is the number one killer, it can take all <coughs> kinds of diseases. Heart disease is the number one killer. For women, it's number one. It's not, you can take breast cancer, you can take colon cancer, you can take pancreas cancer, and lung cancer. Add them up. They don't kill as many people each year as heart disease. Un Unfortunately, and I'd like to say this before you go into the we go into the lunch where there's probably going to be some stuff there. Be. Unfortunately, this disease affects us disproportionately. And that's why I'm so passionate about it. When I say us, it says, I'm talking about me. African American women are at the highest risk of heart disease. So if you think of that every 37 seconds, it's you. Next is African American men, and then uh, your white. Uh, uh, and that holds true with everything uh, that are risk factors for like hypertension, your diabetes, and highest risk. And of those risk factors, we have the highest risk of being physically inactive as African Americans, more obese and physically inactive. Although we have the highest incidence, it should be the opposite, right, if we want to affect that incidence. So it's important that you know that your health is important because you can't pass on your spirit down. You can't talk about the to your kids and to your grandkids if you're not healthy and you're not understanding how both of them are working together. That is just as important to do Bible study, but to do the healthy things and listen to the healthy things that the community and things like spreading the spirit and very powerful. There is data. And I know this, and I will tell you, there is data that suggests, and this is randomized studies that we do, big clinical trials that we determine which, which drugs are more. There are studies that show that people who are more faithfully connected or go to church are more prone to be better participants in their health and have better healthy outcomes uh, 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 from all of the disease process. So there is a, 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 a connection that we know just in, not only in talking about it, but in actual uh, So I am uh, 
very pleased to have made the trip uh, up here from uh, uh, Dallas to uh, Syria. 